folks, Quilly Keen here, and welcome to another episode of the Let's Play Factorio. And uh, it's been over a week since the last episode I recorded. I recorded a bunch of episodes in bulk a little over a week ago because there was going to be a big period of craziness around, like, all the Total War live streams and things like that. As a result, I have no idea exactly where I am anymore. Um, this is where I logged in when I loaded my save, and I'm like... There is a reason I explicitly saved right here, and I think the reason is, after the last episode, I think I noticed that this had been done incorrectly, and I fixed it, and I want to load here just to put that, because I'm sure there's some people that had spotted that it was incorrect, and that it needed to be fixed. I think that's why I'm here. I don't know if there's anything else going on, I don't know if I've changed other things, but I believe I logged in here because there had been an error here that I have corrected and I wanted to let people know, but at this point, your guess is as good as mine. God damn, I gotta say our base has gotten big, like I was feeling, I'm not on a, okay, I'm not on a rail. Um, you know, I was definitely feeling that the pace is a little slow, I've been playing a lot on my own actually, I've been developing this learning base where I'm trying to do things better, learned a lot of things about, you know, how to organize uh, a bus a lot better. And I mean, again, I was like, I'm gonna avoid busing too many things here. And I'm realizing, yeah, that was a little silly. I mean, I'm not gonna be, I'm not being explicitly anti bus like I was the first time we did Rail World. Um, but I still should have been like a little bit more uh, bus compatible here because um, I'm realizing how much faster we could have gotten to this point there. The other thing I'm realizing is I do super overemphasize a lot, I think, getting the science up really early. Um, and really, like, getting the red and green is super easy to set up, like, even really early on in the process, like, really, really trivial. Like, all you need is, is iron and copper. As soon as you've got iron and copper, yeah, set up both your red and green, and then forget about it. And then, don't do any other science until you've got mass production. Just work on mass production, and then go back to the other science right around the time when you need, um oil basically for your for your blue tech you'll need oil that's a big job to set up set up your blue tech get your advanced oil and then move on again anywho what we're going to do right now is we're going to work on the lube me up over here i want to get some lubricant up here partially for two reasons one for the eventual blue stuff which i don't think we have yet that would be logistics something or other right right here probably um, so we need the next level automation for that. Um, yeah, we'll have to check. I don't think we're making purple science. That's, that's another part of it. So, but anyway, I'm going to bring up the lubricant for two reasons. One, for the blue stuff eventually, but two, because we can set up electric engine here and bulk robot production, which would be quite nice. And then I think we need oil products for, we need oil products for the purple, don't we? Yeah, well, we need electric engines. So, I mean, I want some a tiny electric engine production over here for our robots, and then a dedicated science area. In fact, what I'm thinking is, and I've talked about this before, we're going to... Where the hell are we? We're going to tear apart all of our science. No, seriously, where is it? Oh, this whole thing over here. Instead of doing these long trails, I'm going to try to have one area that builds all of the science and pumps them into one series of... Um, of labs over here. I mean, when I put these down, I said, we're going to have to do something else at some point because, you know, at the very least, we, we've got six different types of science flasks to come in and this wouldn't really support it. Although, you know what? You could just run another line here and put some reds on there. And honestly, that would be kind of okay. But I also want to future-proof things for when we get beacons later. Although, I might not do the initial layout of the science labs with beacon, but I'll leave them in an isolated enough area Then I can then tear out the science lab, replace it with some sort of, you know, layout that's got beacons and the science labs in the same place. But, like, you know, this, this is a long little track for the greys and even worse for these blues over here, which are a million miles away. Which, I don't know. Maybe it's fine? I mean, I've got it at this point. The only question is, where the hell are we going to do the purples? Although, honestly, the purples could just go on this line, and then we could just make it, instead of merging the blues to the grays, we could just have the blues and the purple run along here. It's a little bit ridiculous, and not how I would do it if we weren't starting from scratch, but the thing is, there's no reason I can't build our final science array over here. I could move the green just slightly out of the way, and then keep building it there. Okay, maybe we're going to do that. But in any case, we have to get... Uh, thank you for popping up at me. We have to go... Do I not have my volumes on? Because I feel... Oh, that's just... Factor is really quiet. There we go. That should be better in a second. Um, I guess we're just doing everything that doesn't need purple right now. Which is probably why I was just researching the robot count. Hey, let's get some more grenade damage. Times 600? That is a heck of a research thing. Um, 
again, I don't... I'm not really driving the car as much anymore, although... I guess I'll, I'll bring it down. In my own solo play, I'm not building cars anymore. Like, they save a little bit of time, although part of it that helps is the fact that in my own solo play, I'm doing a much better job of uh, partially... Oh, I'm going to die. Um, yeah, I can go over this stuff. Partially just laying things out better and also getting uh, concrete and all that stuff going a little easier. So all I want to do... Yeah, all I want to do is get um, pipes from... Down here, where we have some lubricant. I think one of the lines got interrupted is what had happened, right? Did I get rid of it? I think there was lubricant production over here. I think that's what's going on. Let me just verify. I've got a chemical plant. I've got a couple. Um, here, I'll build a couple more, although I don't think we're actually going to be going with quads. So let's go ahead and go down. Smack some trees along the way. Oh, we poor robot. Man, we got... Is it just me? I mean, I guess it's just that the robot speed is so much harder to get now. It's so annoying how much the robots lag behind you. Even when you're walking, the robots can't keep up. And that doesn't feel like something that used to be an issue. Am I going to get murdered? Not yet. I still like single car trains because I like having a lot of trains on my track. It feels good. But I, I, I will 100% agree that it is not as good. Single tr car trains are not as good. But they're fun! I like having lots and lots of little trains. That's why I still do it. All right, I doubt we're going to need anywhere close to this much lubricant production. Um, but what the hell? I mean, mostly it'll just back up and that's going to be okay. We'll, we'll waste a little bit of power is the worst case scenario. Um, and, you know, who cares about that? So we're going to get you like this. We're going to get an underground that goes from there to there. And then some more piping this way. That actually... Okay, I did collect a lot of underground pipes before starting this. Good. It's like, I'm pretty sure I had that set up for the end of the video as well. Um, that I'd made sure to, like, equip myself with everything we would need for the next bit. But we'll see. Then I'm mostly going to leave the car there. Is there anything I want to grab out of the car? Like, do I care anymore? Honestly, I don't think I need to carry gun turrets anymore. Because we've got, like, laser turrets now. So, I can just dump you in here. Um, I'll keep the ammo on me because we might end up refilling some turrets that are already in place. How are you not connected? How does that not reach? Are you for serious right now? Alright, whatever. Let's do that. Um, I guess I'll have... Let me shorten that a little bit. Do we have a tank? No, nor do we have the means to make a tank. Never mind. I'll, I'll get a tank later then. Let's just go for maximum length. Save parts, zoom out a little bit to reduce the chance of getting squooshed. And... Well, that's inconvenient. Eh. Yeah, we do have to just dance around this slightly. Die tree. Like that. And then use the Q. Whoa! Right, when you move sideways, it doesn't keep doing the drag that I was imagining. There we are. Don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me, bro. Oops. Got knocked over. Sure, we'll kill the tree. That's not actually what I was trying to do. I was trying to pick up this thing. Can I get to the other side? I can. Nope, that didn't work out. I should go and grenade myself a path. I say that's going to hit the pipe, but who cares, because it'll get repaired. Boom. Good. Man, those grenades are loud. I love them, though. Don't get me wrong. I do love them. So I don't need that pipe there. Rotate. And go. So that's going to go partially through this thing which I don't necessarily want. I think what I'm going to do is put in a little corner here. Just because I want to leave that patch open for future exploitation. Exploitation is an appropriate word. I mean, I know it's like loaded with other connotations now, but we're going to exploit the natural resources. I'm just going to blow myself up a little bit. It's fine. It uh, builds character. It's like uh, going outside and playing in the snow. Builds character. 
Or is that just a Canadian thing? I don't know. All right. Keep going there. As far as I know, there's no problem with, like, pushing this as far as we want. Like, I think pipes, they have a maximum throughput, but I don't think they're affected by length of anything. Where are you? Right over there. I gotta say, the pipes are not super visible in this background. Unless they've got, like, the actual liquid symbol in them. Um, there, there. Ooh. Just barely missing this. Can we get to the other side? Now, with power cables, the power cables are actually pretty smart. Oh, I've gone too far over. Um, and will redirect themselves a little bit around obstacles when one shows up. I'm going to have to pick up some more undergrounds, but... We got most of the way there. Oh my god. forgot how long this takes to freaking mine out. Do I still just have an iron pick? I must have not had steel at some point when something ran out. Um, I feel like I want to go and make this a little bit longer that way. Just to give us a little bit more space. And then run out of this stuff. And I suspect I probably have a logistics order in here for that. No, not for, uh, not for undergrounds. Which are not... I'm not producing the pipes near the other general pickup area. So, do I... I do actually produce underground pipes. Down here. And that isn't a provider chest. I suppose I could put in some sort of order. I don't know what I'd say. You know what? I don't want flying robot frames anymore, because we're definitely not doing that kind of thing. So I will put in an order for underground pipes going forward. These bots should all wake up and start grabbing some for me, assuming I'm within the logistics range, which now I am. I'm just going to go down to be a little bit closer, and I'll probably pick up some manually as well, but I'm good in everything else, right? Yeah, super good in everything else. Poor little slow bots. There we go. I'm going to have too many of them, but that's okay. So we got to find our little pipeline over here. Just a lube pipeline. But I think it's going to be good. Like, you know, there was a lot of hesitation for a long time. Oh, how do I bring it here? Do I want to produce my, you know, my engine somewhere else and this and that? I think it's just better bring it to the bus area and just do it there. It's worth the trip. We'll appreciate the convenience later. We might... I, I, I find it hard to imagine that we will be bringing up other kinds of oil products. Um... Because most of the other oil product, like, things that we make with the oil, tends to be pretty much easy for us to do on location. It's just that what we're going to be creating here is stuff that's relatively complex. Creating the uh, electric engines is kind of a pain in the butt, right? Let's do that, and I'm just going to put in a length of normal pipe here, maybe a couple, just so that we can clearly see the resources in there right now. Um, and if I did want to do this, I just need some iron plates. We're never going to produce enough of these to necessarily be worth doing. Although, I guess the fluid wagons do need those. I might want to create an area that makes the wagons for me, but I don't know, it's a little hard to imagine. Okay, so you can sit there and accumulate some extra lubricant, get a little bit of buffer in the system. Um, you know what? Actually, oh, that's probably going to destroy all of it. Will it? I don't know. Crap. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if it does. Let me do this rotate you you're still fine now i just don't know if this will work to like save the contents if i go and trash you i mean it, again it's who cares right no it didn't transfer it over that's a little too bad but i wanted this to be out of the way of that and that's gonna be okay all right engine production for electric engines we just so we want electric engines which is going to require regular engines and electronic circuits. Regular engines just need steel plates. They tend to take 10 seconds to produce. Even the electric engines take 10 seconds to produce. What do we need for the flying robot frames? Batteries, steel plates, electronic circuits. So, okay. If we get iron, steel, green, and batteries, we've got everything we need for this. But for the baseline, it's just iron, steel, and green. I feel like we can probably make use of these green circuits as well, because we don't need that many. So, let's assume... Hmm. How much production are we going to want for this, though? I suppose I can make a corner. Let's say... We end up... 
with something like this. Let's, you know, maybe over design how much we might make. This is only going to make one every 2.5 seconds. Uh, that's a good question. Where are we going to flow this in from? I guess what we can do is have underground pipes for that. Oops. Say as, as far as we can go, because why not, right? Do this. And do this. So the idea is right here. We're going to have a little bit of a splitter. That's fine. Um, yellows are going to be more than enough to grab this. That's going to be fine as well. And then we're going to have reds to unload onto some other track over here. So just like that, we end up with green engines. Or, sorry, green engines. Electric engines. And then the rate is the same for the conventional engines and the electrics. So, oops, I didn't actually mean to ghost. Now, we might want slight overkills of the conventional engines because we want to be able to use some for locomotive. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one extra. I was like, we could put in a buffer, we could do whatever. Let's just go ahead, make one extra, and have that store into a chest over here. Like that. Um, well, I mean, you can do that, but that's not actually what I meant to do. So for these guys, steel and iron gear and pipes. Now, you don't need a lot of any of these things, and the production is very, 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 very quick. So what I think we're going to do is... I think that's three. Yeah. I mean, probably we just need the one. You know, what else do you need over here? The greens. And yeah, okay, so you're fine. The electric engines are 100% done. So the idea here is to do something like gears. This is way too many. Like, because each one of these are going to produce two per second. Which is way more than we need for any of this. Yeah, like, way more. You know what? One's fine. Same thing with the pipe, because I think the pipes get produced two per second, which is more than what we need. So that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and unload these with blues. Because why not? Onto this, which is going to have to come down just to scooch. And then come up this way. Um, you know what? We're going to avoid the corner. Not that this is a very high capacity job, but inserters do have a slight issue grabbing directly from a corner. And funky things might happen. Plus, if I come down this way, then what I can do is I can do this for the steel. Just get the steel onto this. I mean, just like with everything else, I'm sure there's like a really cool and sexy um, layout uh, that people have figured out that doesn't use as much room and it's got, you know, some better like ratios of things. But what we're looking for here is something that will in fact be sufficient. And this is indeed the case. Uh, what I'll probably do is just this for the iron. And then, don't we need batteries or something? Oh, just for the robot frames, I think. We'll see, but I think that's correct. And you're going to go from there to there. And at some point, we still need to do some proper balancing. And I know there's some sort of like priority puller thing or whatever to distribute this better. But if we get that. And we get you up in here, you will start to produce all the bits that we are going to need. Okay, now, iron. And do that so you don't have to grab from a corner. And be careful for the red. there. Ah! Stop pulling me away, you bastard! Come on. Oh. Let's just... I gotta use the Q tool more to be able to pick things up a little bit more conveniently without hunting around my action bar. Although the action bar is not as bad as having to sort through my inventory. Okay. 
It's going to be way more steel than we need for that, but what the hell, I mean, we'll use both sides. It'll buffer some more, who cares, that's going to be okay. So, now we can get you to come here and there. You're loading that in. These are now being produced very slowly, but I mean, I... Hmm, you know, it's interesting. I was just producing enough here for a frickin' um, electric engines. But it's really informing something about... Whoops. The, uh... Do this, because that's the only one we can still research, I think. The frickin' purple science packs are gonna be obscene. Okay, now you do get two per run in 14 seconds. Um, so if we built seven of these purple producers, that would be one per second, which is sort of what we've based everything else on. Um, so we'll get one science pack every second. It means we need seven electric engines every two seconds. Which means, and this right now, it's ten seconds. Yeah, hmm, wow. Oh yeah, let's get the lube in here. Everything's more fun with lube. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, boom, Get you in there. Do that. And that. And just like that, we are, in fact, producing electric engines. For every ten seconds. Do I... Do I just want to scale the hell out of this thing? Which wouldn't be hard, right? If I just move this and made this a straight line, we could fill up however many over here. All right? We could fill up this many of electric engine production. We can feed as much of it as we can, like, into the purple. And then the excess, because it sort of makes sense to me, like, we want to make sure not to, um, not to starve the purple beakers. But the excess electric engines then gets fed into robot frame production. Is that fair? I feel like that's fair. So we need to move you out of the way. And you. And this thing too. I want to make sure that you are still covered in some fashion. Apparently we killed your power out here. Um, let's go for the lineup that's going to be here. Because you'll be out of the way. Oh my god, it moved me. I guess I could have just... Well, line up this way. Put you here. We're, we're ending up with a lot of overlap, but we'll just have to deal with that. And, yeah, go there. So you're still connected. That's good. You're making me my guns. And thank goodness for that. And then we need to put another one of these bad boys. Can you fit right in this gap? No, not quite. Unless I could move some other things, but it's going to be okay. Um... Let me put you here. That shouldn't interfere with anything that goes on there. You have no power, but that's okay. Um, same thing, we can actually put power right over here, and I think that's okay. We'll see. Maybe there's something else that's got to run into this later, but I think we're all right. So this should scale up fine, just because we really don't need much of that stuff. It's, And I can double it up if I need to. Like, there's nothing that will stop me from putting a second freaking gear factory in there. I'm... I'll have to do the double check the numbers, but I'm not even sure that we need it. I probably will do it just in case there's a slight underrun. Because I don't want to actually math. Boom, 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 boom. Like you, like that. Um, the iron is obviously not in the right place, but rather than go and redo um, where I'm grabbing from the bus, I'm just going to do this. Because lazy. whatever reason my pattern was such that we were always grabbing from the top here but you know that's fine it uses a couple extra belts but we get to keep going with our pattern and doesn't that feel good exactly like that and grab you put you here and here and right there what the heck okay um i still kind of need to figure out a buffer for my electrics although so, what I might want to do, then, is shave one of these off. That leaves us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, exactly. You know what? That 
feels pretty good to me. 10 electric engine producers, and we've got an 11th um, regular engine producer just for um, stockpiling for making trains and stuff later on. We might want to have, like, a local um, regular engine producer. Oh, yeah, that's not the best, like, layout of these things, but it's fine. Um, wherever we're making trains or this or that. We'll, we'll figure that out. But for now, what the heck? Let's get some into our logistics network. And we can figure out whatever we want to do with it later on. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm just going to copy... Um, let's get a blueprint. Do I, I don't have a blank blueprint on me? I think I cleaned up some stuff, but there we go. Uh, so I'm going to grab... Ooh, not from there. From here down to there. Thank you. That is the most convenient time for you to pop up. I appreciate you. And I'm not at all bitter or salty. Um, we're going to have to fix our pipes. Although, you know what? Hold on. If I just grab, say, this pair like this. There we go. There we go. And then you can go there and bring that in. Lovely. And that can get shortened to there. Have to wait for the other construction bots to finish the job, but that's fine. All right, so these guys should all be going. So we have lots of electric engine production going on now. They're all being dumped on the same side, which is fine, because there's not really a lot of demand for this stuff. We're going to go ahead and do this. We'll grab with a blue, and then we'll be misclicking and doing that. Just speed this along here so we don't have to wait for as many construction bots to finish whatever the heck they were doing, and they can focus on the rest. And you will want, you know what, let's use the small electric pole here. Get rid of some of those from inventory. So that'll be the idea. And we are going to be, what was I factoring? At around seven. So let's say, seven. I think that's seven bumps. It is. Let's say you are making purple science for me. Right over here. Because sure, why not, right? Um, and you are coming around this way. And there we go, like this. So we need to load something on the other side. So for purple, we also need assembly machines, which is super cheap and easy to make, and electric furnaces, which are not. Let's focus on the electric furnaces. We need a lot. Wow. That is a lot of red circuits. And right now our red circuit throughput's not great. I don't remember. Did I ever talk about redoing some of this stuff? Um, I've been checking out what other people do with their green circuit layouts and found some that I think are slightly higher density. I mean, this is... Fine, it takes up a lot of room, but I guess we've got the space. Uh, but I found one that I was maybe a little happier about with higher density. Not that we're using all these inputs yet. Um, and for red stuff, I... First of all, what is this? I think you are in the way here. And I don't think you're required. No, that must have been a leftover from before. Fine, I can put a ghost image. Although I can't set you to anything. Um... What are you waiting on? Plastic? You have no plastic. Is it possible we have a tra Oh, no, we have no plastic. Because we have no petroleum gas. None here. Are we... We're f we have no heavy oil. We have lots of light oil. I can't actually click on you to find out. I think these aren't working. I think we've got some sort of logic mechanism when it comes to the light oil, and nothing is being done with it. I think we've got no heavy because we are um, converting it all into lubricant, which is fine. Yeah, I'm clearly going to have to check on that logic of the plastic. Anyway, there's no way we have enough red circuit production. We're going to be taking another look at that at some point. But um, I guess we'll put a cut in here. And we're going to figure out, so just on the other side of our gun assembly system, well, what do we need for the electric furnaces? Right. Steel, red, and bricks. I suppose if I got rid of, say, this defensive structure here, because we've got plenty of guns here. And actually, I probably want to go and purge this group. Do we have a pollution layout? Pollution is occasionally ticking that little spot. And over here, and maybe over here. So those will be things to prioritize to maybe clean out. This big base is occasionally getting tickled with some pollution. Um, same in the south. So I, I should push... Oh, you can see, actually, there's a... 
a group over here. They're prepping for an attack over there. We got some laser beams, but we should probably go and clean them out as well. Um, so what I'm thinking is right over here, I'll make the electric engine production. And that's something we're probably going to bank. I mean, we still have plenty of coal to use right now. But in the future, if we want to make some sort of like super mega smelter, and I might want to, because the only achievement I never got around to getting in Factorio is the achievement to build 20 million green circuits. Um, and I think for that, it probably the whole thing becomes a lot easier if you just start using um, electric furnaces in bulk, like huge amounts of solar panels and huge amount of electric furnaces, so you don't have to mess around with the like ludicrous amount of coal that you're going to need for the smelting of uh, iron and copper, which is all you need, really, for the green circuits. Making 20 million green circuits is not an exercise in complex layout. It's an exercise in, like, ludicrous... There we go, that finally went away. Uh, ludicrous amounts of um, production, just huge parallel development of all the things. So anyway, we'll put a cut in here. We'll, uh, we'll set up electric engine production over here to be fed into there. And probably just, like, one or two little things that are making... Um, uh, type 1 assemblies, like the basic assembly buildings. I guess you need uh, a little power over there. There you go. Good on you. Alright, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.